Today, we will talk about how to calm down a hyper dog. Let's have a look at the details. Calming your hyperactive dog can be a challenging feat, particularly when your efforts to use negative reinforcement worsen the behavior. Vigorous exercise, stress reduction, and positive reinforcement are the best bets for dealing with your hyper pet. If these methods don't work, there is no shame in seeking professional help for the issue. The first method is rewarding your dog the right way. Avoid reinforcing bad behavior. Attention of any kind can be bad if your dog is acting out or being hyperactive. Dogs tend to value bad attention over no attention at all. If your pet is behaving in an unwanted way, stay calm and firm to express your disapproval. Distance yourself from your dog and leave the room if necessary. Once this reaction is repeated enough times for your dog to register it, it will be understood as the negative consequence of its bad, hyperactive behavior. Note that when you first attempt to ignore your dog's bad behavior, it might increase in severity temporarily. Break down hyperactive episodes. When your dog gets too hyper, take the time to break down exactly what bad behaviors need to be addressed. At the moment, remain calm and firm to avoid exacerbating the situation. Later, you can concentrate on training your dog out of these problems. For instance, if your hyper dog jumps on people, train it to sit instead. Set up e-practices scenarios and keep your dog on its leash, in the house, to better control its actions. Repeat this regularly and reward it when it sits, and refrains from jumping on anyone. Lavish your dog with praise for good behavior. When your dog is calm and well-behaved, lavish it with love, praise, petting, and treats. Increasing positive associations when your dog is acting in the way you want it to is necessary to let it know that this behavior is good. The attention earned by good behavior will result in more good behavior. The second method is getting active in a positive way. Take your dog on an intensive walk. To overhaul your dog's hyperactivity, take it for a vigorous walk. Rather than quelling your dog's energy, this is a way of repurposing it to avoid bad behavior. The exercise can calm your dog's nerves and leave it happily exhausted. Try walking in a park or field rather than a busy street. The lack of stimuli like traffic, crowds, and city noises will allow your dog to relax more. Let your dog run free. If possible, bring your dog to a fenced-in yard or local dog park where it can run around without a leash. Running freely and being actively engaged can help burn off your dog's pent-up energy and frustration. Socialization with other dogs may also allow for play and enjoyment that your dog would not otherwise get. Play games, activity that engages your dog physically and mentally might be the ticket to neutralizing its hyperactivity. Hyperactive dogs are not merely energetic dogs, but dogs who lack focus, are easily distracted or are highly impulsive. Playing games with your dog, which will allow it time to unwind but also require its focus, is one way to channel energy in a positive way. Games suitable for helping a hyper dog may include Fetch, a classic game that you can vary by using different objects. Frisbee, another classic game that requires agility and concentration. Tug of War, a basic game that should incorporate the use of commands, e.g., get it and let go. Buy your dog a treat release toy. Treat release toys require your dog to focus and engage with the toy in order to access the treats inside. They are a good solution for boredom, which can lead your pet to hyperactive behavior. Choose a model that is size appropriate for your dog and made of good quality, safe materials, i.e. non-toxic substances like rubber. Be sure to choose a model that is easy to clean so you can wash the toy regularly. Dispose of any uneaten food that remains inside for more than a few hours. Consider some help from kids, since kids have boundless energy, it may be a perfect idea to have them play with your hyper dog to tire it out and prevent hyperactivity. Make sure that your dog and the children have a good rapport, and that your dog respects the children, and vice versa. If your dog has a tendency to jump all over people, be sure to supervise the play closely. Note that, since dogs have a tendency to mirror the behavior of humans close to them, a child's excitement may spark your dog's hyperactivity. Make sure that excitement levels stay in check, and that neither the dog nor the kids get aggressive. Avoid letting your dog play with children that you don't know, or trust to be respectful and responsible with your pet. Give your dog a timeout while playing to teach self-control. Interrupt play every 15 seconds and expect the dog to sit and calm down. Only restart the game once they've calmed down. 
give the dog another timeout 15 seconds later and continue doing this for the entire duration of playtime. This teaches the dog to control itself. Timeouts work especially well for calming over excited puppies. The third method is reducing your dog's stress. Consider your own emotions, dogs tend to reflect back their owner's energy, so think about your own mood and behavior when analyzing your dogs. Your own nervous or anxious mood may be adversely affecting your dog, meaning that helping yourself also means helping your pet. Portraying calm, assertive confidence for your dog will definitely help them and will likely benefit you as well. Try aromatherapy, aromatherapy has gained acceptance as a way to relieve anxiety and stress in humans, and it is also a viable option for pets. Dogs experience life largely through a scent so aromatherapy can be helpful, especially in relieving stress that might manifest itself as hyperactivity. A calming scent like lavender could make a world of difference for your hyperactive dog. Be careful not to overdo it with aromatherapy oils, dogs are incredibly responsive to smell and could suffer an allergic reaction. Practice quiet time with your dog, get your dog accustomed to periods of quiet, relax time with you or another family member. Introducing this kind of calm to your dog may encourage it to behave. Try to exercise with your dog right beforehand to reduce its anxiety before attempting quiet time, which could include lounging in the living room with a favorite chew toy, resting comfortably with you while you watch a movie or read. Seek help if necessary. There is no shame in seeking an expert opinion if your efforts to calm your hyperactive dog don't work. A vet can determine whether physical, hormonal, or physiologic factors are responsible for your pet's hyperactivity and prescribe medication or other treatments accordingly. If this is not the case, a dog trainer may be able to help improve your dog's erratic behavior. Feed your dog the best possible diet. Your dog's hyperbehavior could be attributed to an allergy to its food. Most commercial pet food is full of additives, including byproducts, pesticides, preservatives, and food coloring. They are also filled with cheap ingredients like inferior meat and corn, rice, and soy. Discuss feeding options with your vet to avoid food intolerances that could contribute to your dog's erratic behavior. A vet might suggest feeding it a diet of healthy, raw food. Make sure your dog drinks water and stays hydrated during periods of high activity. If your dog seems sore or disoriented after exercise, reduce the intensity level. Thanks for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.